Hey everyone and welcome to the next part of the inventory series. This will be just a cosmetic thing, so feel free to skip this tutorial. As always, here's a quick preview. As you can see, when I open the inventory, we have the All button pre-selected. We can click on other menu items and it will set the other back to normal. So let's dive right into it. Go back to the inventory widget and inside here we want a new function called set clicked menu item, for example. As the input, we want the type button and we also want a variable that represents the text. In the scope of this function, we can simply search for the parameters like button in. From that, we want to set the style. Promote the in style to a variable and call it button active style. Go back to the designer and from here we want to copy the normal button style. Paste it into our new variable and set the normal to the same as the hovered. So that this will represent our normal state. Now do the same for the text, except we want to set the color and as opacity. Promote it to a variable and as the default one we want to have black here. Now create a variable active button with the type button. This will hold our current active button. Pull it in and check if it's valid. If it's not valid, it means that we have no active button. So we set the incoming button as the new active button. If we click on a button and we already have a button selected, we want first to check if it's not the same button. If that's true, we want to reset the style of the current active button to the normal style. So create this new style and paste it again from the designer. If the button that is clicked and the current active one are the same, we don't want to do here anything. After the set style, we want again set the active button to the new one. Now we need to do this for the text. So copy and paste this and change the active button to the active text and all the other parameters to the corresponding text properties. For example, the set color and opacity. What I forgot here is to connect the false branch to the set node. So do that for both is valid branches. Go back to your main graph and here after the click we want to set the function with the correct button and text box. Do that for all of your buttons.
and then test it out. The click is working good. The one thing that is left here now is the hover effect. So let's work on that. Go to the graph again and create two functions, set hover and unset hover. For the set hover we have a text in and from that we want to set the color and opacity to black as that is our hover color for the text box when we are hovered above it. For the unhovered we need to check if our text box in is not the same as the active text box. What this does is it prevents the selected active button from going back to the normal color when we unhover the selected one. So that is very important. If it's not equal, we want to set the text color and opacity back to normal. Now go to the graph and click on all the buttons and create the hovered and unhovered events. Then pull in the text box and set hover on hovered and set unhovered on unhovered. Do it for the rest. And if you want the all item to be selected on open, go to the for each loop and on the completed set the clicked menu item for the button all. And that's it. Here's our result. I hope you enjoyed it and see you in the next one.